latest issue of Bloomberg Business Week magazine's hitting newsstands today and on its cover this very subject. Greece's growing anger over life-changing austerity measures. For a closer look at what is inside the issue and a little bit more on that story, we are joined right now by the magazine's editor, Josh Tierengelt. Josh, thank you so much for joining us. You heard what the ambassador was just saying there. This basically got on the cover because tell us about the editorial decision that keeps this front and center. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we wanted to get a little bit beyond the headlines. I think even yesterday there was a bomb that exploded in Greece, and, and we all know that there's violence and there's protests and there's anger. Um, what we wanted to do is find out from inside Greece in a sort of deeply reported way what this means for business owners, uh, what it means for businesses doing work in Greece, and what it means for people who, you know, not so long ago were recognized as the number one luxury brand purchasers in the world. Um, even more than the Japanese. Even more than the Japanese, more than Hong Kong. And now that there's real austerity, there is fury, and there's also this sort of grudging recognition that without the imposition of restraint, nothing was going to change. And so we did a real deep dive there. And then we followed it up with a profile of Papandreou, who, you know, is a very interesting character. I mean, this is the Greek prime minister who is a Minnesota-born, Bob Dylan singing kind of guy. Um, he's very unique. He's a sign of a political family, and his will his political will um, is really shaping a lot of what's going on there. Josh, we thank you. Also know there is a story on Vancouver housing and then a huge tech story that we have been following, this very public face-off between Adobe and Apple. So the magazine does hit newsstands this week. Pick it up. It's a pretty good read, especially, as Josh said, on that Greek story really getting behind the headlines.